I'll give these fish to Pearson. Shotguns. Can build a crib so you can hold more ammunition. Okay. Right. Hello, what, what would you like? Ah, Herr Morgan, Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in Rose. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> right. See right there on the map. That's forbidden. Praise. Mr. Pearson. chat with you. The individuals that own the gang money are marked on the map. The money symbols seek out the debtors and recover the money. Intervene. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coon and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Uh! Nerf! Both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? You can come with me to mail a letter. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. That's pretty much what I do is errands, shoot people. You cool down then yet? I guess. But I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? You reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear 
and Kathy. You are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, there. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male descent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Hey. Jeez Louise. I can't let you pull out a pistol. I'll just go shoot him for some tomatoes. Nothing. I was paid if there's mail ready for collection. Good to know. Can I help you, mister? Yes. First, let's pay the bounty. Alright. Because I can definitely afford that. Because we got over 600 bucks. And send her mail. Thank you. Bye now. Cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just. Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taken nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamar and Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? 
How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! go. I mean, you're not wrong. Handle it. You're going a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. So much. You run, you cowards. I think we're good here, Arthur. Not shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. Yeah, might as well. Probably nothing exciting in them. No, past those range here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm Hey, watch it! We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want a peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Baldwin's. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice Mission completed. Check our map. Home robbery. Oh, sure, Sean. Let's do it. Why don't you sit a while? Another busy day. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people there? Uh, Jacobites are English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin, a 
couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. I will. you up there so what were you doing riding around up there anyway sniffing around looking for the take I got a long nose for these things Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money ain't he and rightly so I ain't like some of them others back there sitting around waiting to be told I go after it I see you sitting around plenty I mean I don't need no coddling like the rest Dutch knows my value to the cause that's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times you have to tell me? What? What's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. Are you sure about this? You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? No, nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. I mean, makes sense. How far is it? How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right. I'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. I feel like he doesn't, and everything's just gonna hit the fan in a second here. 
You're like, oh, bad planning, bad planning. But benefit of the doubt. Look, there's one on the outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Okay. Good luck with your uh, talking there. Hey there. Oh. I'm going to give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed six past the alarm and headed this way. Now it does look coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Oh. It's up after. Here come the rest oh. of them. Watch it. Threaten you. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here. Never come back. Start running. Corner has revealed the secret stash spot to you. You will often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone. Bourbon, some cheese. Oh, take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Yes, we're getting to the bedroom. Hold on, hold your horses. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. See you back at camp. What's the cut? Never know what folks got stashed. What? There's got a few other places out there like this. Discover homesteads by exploring the world. There will often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads, and the method to make off with the highest amount of money won't always be the same. That wasn't exactly a huge take, 20 bucks? Like, there, I just found $12. It was a bigger take. It's kind of like... I don't want to know what's in the bed there, but it's on multiple beds. Double action revolver. Take moonshine. Sure. 